Hello, this is Wendy. Welcome. I'm so excited you're here with me today. I am happy to bring you a fun project card with the Cup of Christmas stamp set. Now, I have to admit, I really didn't show off the coolness of this stamp set and die set because it's actually irre... Uh, what did they call it? Reversible. So you could stamp the images either way, which is so cool. And I totally brain farted showing you how that works. <laughs> so look forward to another video with that because this is definitely a set you want on your wish list for September 4th when the new holiday catalog goes live. This is a great bundle to have because you could do coffee cups all year long. They are not exclusive to Christmas, right? So we've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock here cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored in half, and then I've got layers of paper in different sizes and I have it all written below the video along with over on my blog. So if you want the details on that, please check it out there. I don't list it here on the screen for you just because it makes video editing way longer and it's already a long process if I'm being honest. So we're using gorgeous paper, the night before Christmas paper, and it's so cute, I just love it. And I kind of kept the theme pretty peacock, uh, real red, white, and Sahara sand, which is an interesting combo that you may not think of, but it ended up being really beautiful, and I love how it turned out. So um, let's chit chat while I put this together. How beautiful is this thick ruched ribbon? Oh, I love it. Again, available September 4th, almost in a couple days. I am going to be doing a fun live video with a catalog walkthrough. So if you want to catch that, you can follow me on Facebook. Links for my Facebook and Instagram are listed below the video also. Okay. So I'm just going to put the card together and then I'm going to jump back and forth between the card and my story time like normal. If you're new to my channel and you don't like story times, then I'm probably not the right fella to watch. Um, I like to share about my life and things that are going on and that's not for everybody and I totally get that. And I'm okay with that. But it's fun and it's something besides just making the card and peeling the back of these dimensionals. So new things are happening at my church and we are I am going to be teaching Sunday school occasionally I am terrified because frankly I don't like children <laughs> I swear the situations that God puts you in I I just can't even talk about it because it's crazy like if you would have told me like you're going to teach Sunday school, I'd have been like you're smoking crack because I am not about to teach Sunday school. I seriously am not a big fan of kids. Like I like my kid. I know that there's others of you out here that feel the same way. So I know I'm not alone in this, but it's got to be said anyway. I like my child. I enjoy her. I love her very, 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 very much. But as a whole, I'm not a kid person. I'm not one of those people that walks into a room and goes to the baby. I'm the person that walks into a room and goes to the puppy. I'm not a person who like wants to spend a bunch of time with kids. I don't know how to talk to them. And I discovered this recently. Like I've always thought it was just a patience issue. It's actually not. I think it part of it is patience. But another part of it is I don't know what to say to them. I don't know how to talk to them. And I was a kid, you would think that I would know, but I think I was never really a kid. Like I'm one of those people, like I can remember being told you're an old soul when I was like eight. <laughs> so I think I just don't know how to relate to them and I'm not sure what to say. So I struggle and like, I never even talked to my daughter like a kid. I've always just talked to her like a friend, like not like a friend, but like, more adult. I never did the baby goo goo stuff. That was never my thing. And consequently, our kid is really mature for her age. And I think it's super cool because uh, yeah. So anyway, um, 
this is the situation I'm being put in, people. I am going to be teaching Sunday school. So I got the curriculum and I was going through it. And it literally says in the curriculum, the kids come in. You need to welcome them. You need to say these things. And it says, say. And then it has like a script. And I'm like, <laughs> praise God, because this is what I've needed my whole life. Like, could I have just maybe had a curriculum for being around kids my entire life that says, say, blah, 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 do, blah, 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 blah. And I would have been perfect. I would have had no issues. This is why I think I like animals so much is because I don't have to try to figure them out. And I can just like be who I am and not worry about upsetting or offending. And they don't irritate me or get on my nerves like people do at times. So it makes it really easy to hang out with animals. Yeah, so there's that. So I'm going to be teaching Sunday school. So that should be interesting. Okay, this is a really cool technique we need to talk about. I have die cut these little decorations for this cup in both white and Sahara sand. On the white one, I didn't push it out of the die all in pieces. I pushed it out all at once. I laid it flat on the surface, pushed it out all together out of the die. And then I took a piece of um, plastic wrap. This is um, clean. What is this called? There's a name for it. What is this called? Something wrap. Anyway, I think it's plastic wrap. Anyway, um, you take this and you flip it over I pull off the frame. Now I'm going to flip it over and put it onto the mug and put these pieces in. So then it's paper inlay. And a little fun fact for you, if you don't already know this, Jennifer McGuire, who is a huge card maker on YouTube, she has like 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. Her husband helped to invent plastic wrap. Is that what this stuff is called? I have the jar. I have the thing. Press and seal. Sweet heavens. I know those of you that knew what it was were like screaming at the screen. Press and seal. Press and seal. <laughs> so press and seal. It's tacky, but not destructively so. So you can put your glue in and then just peel away your press and seal and you are left with your die cuts. Okay. So that is how I made the mug with the two-tone stripes, which turned out really cool, and I super love it, and I did that on pretty peacock paper. I die cut the mug out of pretty peacock, and then um, I just had to touch up a few areas where it wasn't, you know, sealed down all the way. Okay, so all of this being said, that's what's happening. I'm gonna be teaching children, and I'm very nervous about it, but excited and so I'm just gonna pray through and I know that I know that God would not have put me in the position to do this if I wasn't capable or if there wasn't a confidence in me to be able to do it so I'm just gonna go with that and trust God and pray and hopefully I'm not gonna scare any children children notoriously are kind of afraid of me because I'm super blunt and to the point and so I frighten them like, literally, my nieces are like, you're scary. <laughs> I scare them. So I love them. I just don't mess around. Like, if I tell you to stop doing something and you keep doing it, then I raise my voice. I don't yell, but I get very stern. And I'm like, stop. I told you to stop. I just, I have no tolerance for children being children. And it's horrible. And... I'm sure my child is going to need a lot of therapy when she's older. God bless her. But I've done the best I could. And I only had one. I learned my lesson. I was like, yep, there's a reason God only gave me one kid. So I hate to say all those things because it makes me sound like a horrible person. And I'm not. I'm a lovely person. But people have different gifts. And that is not one of my gifts. Okay, so moving on. Um, the other thing I have coming up is my little girl's 11th birthday which is really exciting. She will be 11. Actually, she when you're watching this video, she will have already turned 11. But we're having her birthday party on September 6th. And she wanted a slumber party. And she's only having a few people over. 
and we've never done this before. We've always done like really big parties because I just have one kid. So I'm like, why not? And I always just do throw a big birthday party. Um, and I love having people over to my house and I love throwing parties and I love decorating and all that kind of stuff and like planning and organizing stuff. So it's kind of an excuse also to do those things. So that being said, we're just doing the four kids and including my daughters. There's four total, four girls. They're all 11 and they're staying the night and uh, my daughter doesn't know this. It's going to be a surprise to her, but I'm doing a Harry Potter theme because when the whole birthday party thing came about like months ago, because she in months prior to her birthday, she starts telling me about what she wants. Just like in January, she tells me what she wants her Halloween costume to be. And I'm like, can we please just get past Valentine's Day before we talk about your Halloween costume? Do your kids do that? Did your kids do that? It's very annoying. I'm like, I I haven't even processed the next two weeks, much less Halloween. Give me a minute. So anyway, she mentioned to me, she's a huge Harry Potter fan, huge And she says to me, Mommy, this year I will be 11, which is the age that you can go to Hogwarts. And they go to Hogwarts in September, which is when my daughter's birthday is. So she's turning 11 in September, which is when you would get to go to Hogwarts, which I thought that was so sweet and cool that she was so excited about the idea that she could attend Hogwarts this year. So I asked her if I could just make a surprise with like the decorations and all the planning for her slumber party if she would just let me plan it and she was like yeah that would be great so I'm planning a big like Harry Potter themed slumber party so I bought her special pajamas that I'm going to lay out for her to wear that morning I'm going to put them out so she has them for that night and I'm going to um decorate for Hogwarts I'm actually gonna hang up a shower curtain that I found on Amazon that's the platform nine and three quarters by the way I'm heat setting that stamp I just did and so I'm gonna um I'm gonna make take pictures of them like going on platform nine and three quarters because that's where you go through to go to Hogwarts castle So we're going to do that. And then I saw this really cool idea on Pinterest where you blow up a bunch of balloons and you put, you write times on them. And at that time you pop the balloon and whatever activity is inside the balloon is the activity that you do. So I think that we're going to do that as well. So it should be really fun. So catch up with me next week because I'm sure I'll have stories about the slumber party, possibly photos, and we will discuss. But for now, those are the plans and we'll see how they all get executed. It should be interesting. And then my husband is the big breakfast maker in the family. So he's going to do a big breakfast for them the next morning, which I'm really excited about because that means I don't have to, I'll clean up the mess, but I don't have to cook. So that's fantastic. Okay, there's the card. How cute is that? Oh, it's adorable. Y'all, I cannot wait for just, I'm just having the best time making Christmas stuff already. I know it's only August, but, ugh, or September, technically. Um, all right, so if you want to see another video from me, click either one that you see here. Shop with me at shoploveandstampin.com. Um, all the products you see in the video are available over on my shop. And I'll see you later. Bye.